What's up everybody? DIY Doug here. Today we're gonna walk you through how to do your own site survey. So let's get going. Okay, first things first, take a picture of the front of the house. We need this to verify with our satellite imagery to make sure that we're doing design on the right roof. And you may be asking yourself, why do I need a site survey? Well, we look at three things. We look at the roof, structural, and the electrical. We need all of these photos from you so that we can create a plan set so that it does not get denied and we go through the permitting process smoothly. Hey puppy, we're trying to film here, bro. All right, it is important to get a 360 view of the home and take pictures of every side because we need to make sure we locate where the main service panel is. Okay, our next photo, make sure you're about 10 to 15 feet back from the main service panel so we can see if there's any obstructions. It's time to open up the electrical panel. This is one of the most important parts of the site survey because this is how we determine how much solar we can put on your home. So one of the biggest things we need is this picture right here. This gives a bus bar rating. So make sure that it is a clear photo. If you have any doubt on if it's clear, just take more. It's fine, we can sift through, not 100, but you know maybe like 20 extra photos. Also, we need to take pictures right here of the breakers. Not all main service panels are gonna look this way, but it's fine, this is the gist of what most everyone's gonna look like. Do not open up the electric, the power company's side of the box. So another thing that's really important, you gotta take the dead plate off. This will give us some insight on what, what breakers you're using and also the wire size that's coming into the house. So we also wanna take a picture of this. Next, we go inside to look at sub panels in your attic. All right, now we're at the sub panel. We need the same pictures that you would take at the main service panel. I need the inside picture of the, the rating of the panel and also with the dead plate off so we can see the wires and the breakers. Okay, so now we're in the attic. Well, kind of. So, this is part of the structural part that we need for the structural engineers to make sure that your roof can handle the extra weight. So you do need to measure and take pictures of all the trusses, rafters. Also, these should usually are about 24 inches on center. We just need that measurement as well and take the picture. It's kind of hard to do it just myself, but um, that's pretty much it. We just need a 360 view of that. If you do have a flat roof, it's especially important to get those measurements to us. Um, if you do have blueprints or anything from your builder, then that would be even better. So there you have it, there's the attic portion. There you go, that's how you do a site survey. When in doubt, take more pictures. If you have any other questions, please let us know.